Well, the FDA fully approves the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. The full approval could make it easier for employers, schools, and organizations to require the vaccine. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot spoke with local health experts on this about what it means for people here at home in the Valley. You could probably see some people more mandating it. That's Dr. Tim Perlick, the director of pharmacy services at Desert Regional Medical Center. I think with this vote of confidence, you might see a little stronger hand in that vaccination part. Now, the Pfizer vaccine has full FDA approval for people 16 and older. Before, it was only given emergency use authorization to people 12 and older. As opposed to emergency use authorization, which means in a time of crisis, we're going to maybe not have as much data initially as we need. That's Dr. Youtham Contaxis, the medical director of Eisenhower Health's Tenity Emergency Department. But now that we have the data, we're all comfortable that this is a, a safe vaccine. I think you'll see some increase in mandates by schools, by, by um businesses. That ability to mandate that would come forward naturally once we've really had it through our traditional process of validating the drugs. Dr. Perlick says it's harder to mandate a vaccine without full FDA approval. And so for those people that were hesitant under this emergency use authorization to get it, hopefully that'll tip them over to going ahead and getting vaccinated. But what if you got the Pfizer vaccine before FDA approval? It should give us a little bit of peace of mind to know that the FDA has done a vetting process. When people in a, in a community have that sense that we're doing it not just for ourselves, but for people around us, that they're more inclined to do it. A spokesperson for Desert Care Network says the Pfizer vaccine supply won't be an issue. There's plenty to go around. With News Channel 3, I'm Marion Bouchot.